And welcome back YouTube. This is Boosterbox Buster here with another video. Today I'm going to be opening up a Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Season 2 a little package here. It's kind of cool. Let's take a look at this here. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it through that plastic. The 2018-19 season of The Legendary Duelist was headlined by Seto Kaiba and the Legendary Duelist White Dragon Abyss, and he's back alongside with the, all the duelists from both White Dragon Abyss and Sisters of the Rose in this Legendary Duelist Season 2. Each box includes two Legendary Duelist Season 2 packs, each pack contains 18 cards, one of 10 secret rare variant cards, and one of several collectible dice. I'm not going to lie, this is kind of an expensive package for what you get, but I kind of wanted a dice. I'm not going to, uh, back in the day, I used to play a little bit of Magic. I would always buy a fat pack because I loved getting the dice from each set. It was so cool. Uh, Eventide, M2010, uh, uh, Morningtide, uh, Lorawin. Th those were so cool to get dice in those fat packs. <clears throat> so I'm really excited to see what dice I get in here. I wonder if these are the four options, or if you... It says several, so I don't know if they, you can get more than this, or if you, these are the four options you are limited to. Either way, it'd be really cool to get a Blue Eyes. Uh, I think that's supposed to be like a chibi harpy? Harpy lady? That'd be kind of cool. Not quite sure what that panda guy is. Kind of look reminds me of the, uh, the panda head from, uh, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Looks like we got a couple of different blue eye variants. That'd be cool. Alright, so without further introduction, let's open up Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Season 2. I'm really excited to see what, uh, dice I get. I know I'm doing this the old school way of uh, filming like this instead of top down with the play map, but I had a hard day at work. I'm tired. We're doing it this way. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, pretty packaging. There are the packs. All right, let's see what dice we got. So, dice reveal. We got our so. Oh, we got the Chibi Harpy Lady. Awesome. And I love how it's like this clear dice. That's so cool. I'm guessing the character's face is one. Ah. Five, four, should be uh, two, three, yep, we got six, which set has the Yu-Gi-Oh! official logo on it. Who wants to uh, focus, please. Very cool, I like that a lot. And on this side, which represents the one, you have like a chibi harpy lady. No, that's not chibi at all, that's just... That's Harpy Lady with uh, her claw hand right there. So cool. I like that a lot. Very happy to have got this one. I would have also have loved the blue eyes. The big panda head I'm not quite sure on, but blue eyes are Harpy. That, that was great. Let's see our secret rare variant card that also came with this set. Ooh, that's shiny. This is Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut uh, Libby? Labay? Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut. I'm just going to call him that. Super cool looking. Don't know if this card's worth anything. Probably not, but let's just take a second to open it up. 
I'm using the scissors here because it's one card and I don't want to potentially bend the card by opening it standard. Machine XYZ effect. Oh my god, that is a lot of levels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. Holy cow, that, that's a beefy monster. 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. Yeah, that is beefy. Three level 11 monsters? Holy cow! Good luck! Uh, once per turn you can also XYZ summon Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Juggernaut, uh, this, by using one rank 10 machine monster you control as material. So you can get this guy out with just one rank 10 machine monster? That's insane. That's much easier to do than three level 11 monsters, so this guy is super easy to get out with that condition. Transfer its materials to this card. Uh, once per turn you can detach one material from this card. It gains 2000 attack defense. For the rest of this turn you can only declare an attack with this card. Or also for the rest of this turn, you can only declare an attack with this card, so when you activate that effect, you can only attack with this monster. Fair enough, because it's a 6,000 beast at that point. Uh, during attack, or during each battle phase, this card can make attacks on monsters up to the number of material it has. Holy cow! So you can detach one material, make him a 6,000, 6,000 beat stick. If he still has two. As long, if your opponent has two monsters and this guy has two materials, you can attack each monster. I don't think... Uh, the only way you can attack directly is if your opponent has no monsters to begin with. But for each monster your opponent has, you can attack them as many times as you want as long as you have the same amount of material or more material than your opponent's monsters on the field. So, unfortunately it has no protection from anything, so it can easily be popped by most things, or the effect be negated by most things. For instance, Effect Veiler. Uh, it, th that's just one. Uh, it could be Solemn Judgment, it could be Solemn Warning, it, it could be pretty much negated or stopped by almost any type of trap, magic, or hand trap. However, if you can protect it, this is a 6,000 beat stick that could pretty much win you the game as the boss monster. Pretty cool. Um, I love the art, the secret rare, the tank, that's cool. But it's not as... It, because it doesn't have protection from anything, It's it leaves itself very vulnerable to other uh, other properties on the field. If you can protect it, you can win. If you can't... <laughs> Your opponent's going to laugh at you as they blow up a 6,000 beat stick. So here's our oversized, overstuffed pack of 18 cards from Legendary Duelist. Does it, do they still put uh, set information on the inside of these? It's been a while since I've opened up something new new. Uh, set content subject to change, no specific card rate is guaranteed. Okay, so it doesn't give me a breakdown of what's in this set. Unfortunate. Okay, 18, here we go. 18 cards for every pack. One standard, ultra rare. Two colorful ultra rare. And 15, well, what's a colorful ultra rare? I See, I have no idea. I, have, I haven't opened up anything new new in that long. Okay, so it's, it is sliced. I'm happy to get Harpy's Lady Dice, the Super Dreadnought uh, Tank Destroyer. Kind of cool. It's a beefy boff, mo beefy boff, beefy boss monster. All 
All right, so let's see what we get for our cards. I have no idea what's in this set. I probably don't even know 90% of the cards that are in this set. So, kind of cool. We got Cyber, Pharos, Blackwing, Oster, the South Wind, Super Strident Blaze, Abyss Scrip, Romantic Terror, Chaos Form, Ma Majesty with Eyes of Blue, Burst Stream of Destruction, Blue Eyes Support, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, so is that our standard ultra rare, or a colorful ultra rare? I'm confused. Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, classic card but not, I don't think this one is that great this days so if I remember. Ooh, okay, I see what they mean by colorful. You actually see it has a blue name. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Classic, classic Kaiba card. One of my favorites. I absolutely love this. So cool. And Cyberload Fusion. That it looks so it looks like we got two blues. Are, are blues good, bad? I, I I have no idea. But yeah, Cyberload Fusion. Harpy's Feather Storm, very cool. Dark Rose Fairy, Triangle Ecstasy Spark, Harpy Lady Attack. Really cool art, I like that a lot. Cyber Egg Angel, Cyber Angel Aizen, or Izana? Is it Izana? Izana? Rose, tentacles, so that could be, uh, I can think of some ideas with rose tentacles. Splendid Rose, and Lunalite, Saber Dancer, very cool. You gotta let me know in the comments down below if colorful ultra rares are worth anything extra than their ultra rare counterparts or if it's minimal price difference. And this is the last item in this pack. I do kind of wish that they would have put the dice in like a little container of its own. That's why it wouldn't potentially rattle and damage the packs. Is it nitpicky? I don't think so. Not when you pay that much for a box. Alright. So let's see what our next set of cards are. Ooh. We got Harpy Lady too. But I think the name is just treated as Harpy Lady, isn't it? Yeah. So I, they had a set of th three of these, for those who don't know. Harpy Lady 1, Harpy Lady 2, Harpy Lady 3, but they are all named Harpy Lady. So I believe you can only run one of each in your deck. If you are to, I don't think you can run a full playset of each. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Or is it... Or is the Harpy Lady effect only activated while it's on the field, so you could technically run three of each, you just can't have more than three. You, you just can't have more than one of, or, you know, three on the field at a time. I'm not 100% sure on the ruling on that. Uh, Abyss Playhouse Fantastic Theater. Pretty cool looking. Abyss Actor Comic Relief. Maiden with Eyes of Blue, very nice card. Glowing Crossbow, okay. Protector with Eyes of Blue. Mausoleum of White. I think we're getting close to the Hollows. Yeah, we have to be getting close to the hollows. I'm going to try to save those. Hopefully I did it right. 
and for the end here. So I'm going to put those to the front. Harpies, Feather, Storm, Dark Rose, Fairy, Cyber Egg, Angel, Mark of the Rose. I remember this card was an ultra rare at one point, but I don't I don't remember if it was any good or not. I never pl played it. Cyber Shield, that's a blast from the past. Wasn't this uh Wasn't this Blue Eyes? LOB set? Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon? Clip only to Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady's sister gains five hundred attack. Okay, I'm thinking of a wrong one. Some, something similar to this was in uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Obviously not this because it's Harpy Lady didn't come out to Metal Raiders, but something similar to this was old. Uh, Birds of the Rose. Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. That sounds painful. We've seen that one already. Burst Stream of Destruction. All right, so these should be the hollows. Ooh, I am happy with that. Harpy's Lady Sister. Classic. Ultra rare. Can't go wrong with that. We, and it pairs well perfectly with our uh, dice set we got. That is fantastic. Our colorful ultra rare, Harpy Chandler. Hey, this is a Harpy pack. That's pretty cool. That's purple, for the, it's not going to show up well on camera. And our final is Galaxy Knight, and he is purple as well. Please let me know what color is most desirable, or if it even matters at all if, if they're all printed the same, or if they print one a little bit more scarce than the other. Please let me know that in the comments down below. So far I have a purple and a blue. Uh, tell me what other colors they make, that'd be kind of cool. Galaxy Knight. Very cool. Let's just take a look at this guy's effect before we end the video. If you control a Photon or Galaxy Monster, you can normal summon this card without tributing it. That's pretty powerful. I think I... was this guy in, uh... The game for the Switch? I think I remember a card similar to this. If someone this way, target one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in your graveyard if possible, regardless of this card... Or regardless, this card loses 1,000 attack. And if it does, special summon that target, if any, in defense position. The attack decreases, lasts until the end of this turn. This is pretty dang powerful in a uh, Photon deck. Ga Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. This is really powerful in that deck. Um, literally, as long as you have a... What is it? A, yeah, as long as you have a one Galaxy or one Photon Monster, you can special summon this guy. If you have a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in your discard pile... You can instantly special summon it. Unfortunately, it ain't going to have any material at the time, but you can special summon it to the field as at least a beat stick. You could potentially uh, get material on it as poten a potential sacrifice for another card. I mean, unfortunately, this guy loses a thousand attack when if you special summon him this by this way, but that's a small price to pay because his attack goes right back up at the once your turn is over. So yeah, this is a pretty dang powerful card. So as a recap, I'm just going to show the hollows that we got. We got a Galaxy Knight Purple, a Harpy Channeler Purple, a Harpy Lady Sister, very happy with this, standard ultra rare. Uh, Cyberload Fusion, blue. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, blue. Absolutely love Ultimate Dragon. And Black Rose Moonlight Dragon Standard. 
And our promo was this Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon uh, Juggernaut. Very cool looking. Beat stick of a monster. And we got the Harpy Lady Dice. Very happy to get this. Got a four. So with all that said, I gotta say I enjoyed this pack opening. If you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And this has some Booster Box Buster opening up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Season 2. A uh, little extra pack with a dice and a couple packs. I don't know exactly. It doesn't, really, it doesn't say what to call this. And I'm signing out. Peace.